Hello and welcome to the United Stand. We're in a festive studio, we're in a festive mood and it is our Manchester United versus West Bromwich Albion preview. Lots and lots to talk about. Mkhitaryan, Bay's injury, Mourinho, the title, what transfer plans he might have had. I hope you watched last night's show and Mourinho's top five transfer targets in, in January. I think it's going to be very, very interesting. But we're here to talk about Manchester United versus West Brom. We've also got a fantastic offer for you in relation to match bets, which we'll bring you in a, in a, in a few minutes' time. But we're feeling festive. We're feeling positive. We've obviously had that horrible, horrible result against Manchester City last week weekend but we beat Bournemouth in midweek we need to beat West Brom I think West Brom is <laughs> I've said it so many times I don't want to say it again because it really isn't a match def a season defining game it is not a season defining game because that was Manchester City last week and we blew it but I think West Brom away on Sunday is important because we've started to build a gap on Liverpool and Arsenal and um, certainly Spurs as well Chelsea are with us I think if we do beat West Brom at the weekend it will give us a real good cushion. It's all about second place at the moment. Some people, some people still think we can win the title. Um, Mourinho says if, it, if the title's not possible, we may as well go, all go on holiday now. Mourinho has to do that. I don't think he believes that the title is really possible because it isn't. I don't think it is. I think we've blown it. But he has to keep everybody believing in it because if he doesn't, the players take the foot off the pedal slightly and... We'll lose game like West Brom at the weekend. We had a good result against Liverpool um, and, and they need to be good. Interesting some of the things he said. Um, Mkhitaryan is not even making the bench at the moment because he's not good enough. That's effectively what Mourinho said, that if to put him on the bench would mean Mata or Lingard or Martial missing out. Interesting how he mentions Martial but never mentions Rashford, even though Rashford, for me, has been very poor over the last... Well, not poor, but he's not been the Rashford we know and love, has he? But talking of which... I do think Martial will be dropped at the weekend and this is the team that I think we will see. I think we'll go back to the 3-5-2 because we are away from home. I think we'll see Jones staying in the back four, or back three. I'll tell you what, I gave Phil Jones a little bit of stick on the Bournemouth game before it. I said, I don't know why Phil Jones is starting. Get in line, Phil. Behind Lindelof, behind Smalling, behind Rojo. And he played Phil Jones against Bournemouth and Phil Jones was really, really good. And to be honest, Phil Jones has been very good this season. Um, the problem with Phil Jones is injuries. You can't trust Phil Jones on injuries, but actually his form is very good. And I've said it so many times. He's the closest thing to John Terry in football uh, at the moment. And Mourinho loved John Terry. So interestingly enough, John Terry made a very interesting comment about Manchester United, which I'm going to talk about in a moment. But yeah, I think it will be Smalling, Jones and Rojo making up that back three. Obviously, Valencia at right back. Ashley Young will be at left back. I think it should be Luke Shaw, but it will be Young. I think McTominay will start because actually, I don't think Fellaini's going to be back. I think if Fellaini's fit, he'll play Fellaini. Um, I don't think he wants Herrera over McTominay at the moment. And Carrick and Pogba are unavailable through injury and suspension. Matic will obviously play yet again. We cannot afford not to play him. I think Lingard will play in that number 10 position as he has did play quite well there against Arsenal and Watford. I think we'll see Lukaku up front. I think we'll see Rashford off Lukaku. I think Martial will be dropped. I really hope he isn't, but I think Mourinho has sort of gone off him a little bit lately. And I don't. I still think Martial was our best player against Bournemouth, taken off after 65 minutes. He did miss a sitter, but it's really naive and Arsenal-esque fan to start saying Martial should be dropped because he missed a sitter. It's about what he did throughout the game. And he is our danger. Without Pogba, he's our, definitely our most dangerous flair player. But I do think that there is an opportunity or, or a chance, should I say, that, uh, that Mourinho will drop Martial. I mean, and, and for me, that's it, it, be off the bench. I mean, I think Martial should start every game. I think he's our best player with Pogba. So I've just got a funny feeling that it keeps subbing him off after 65 minutes. Every single game, you know he's going to sub Martial after 65 minutes. And it really annoys me because that's that's a good 30% of our game where Martial's not on there and he's our best flair player. So it frustrates me. It does. Um, in relation to Mourinho and um, should he, some fans were saying he should be embarrassed about Luke Shaw and how he's handled him because Luke Shaw's played two games and he's been man of the match. He's left back. Um, he's left footed. I think Ashley Young's been fantastic this season when he's got into the team. But the reality is Ashley Young is a right-footed 32-year-old with no real future at Manchester United beyond a year or two. Um, and he's an ex-right mid... He's, he's, a, he's a winger. He's an ex-winger. Uh, Luke Shaw is a young left-footer who could be the best left-back in Europe. Luke Shaw should play. Um, we have to manage him carefully. I don't know whether I'd start Luke Shaw against West Brom. I still think I'd go for Ashley Young. But as I said a couple of weeks ago when Luke Shaw played well in the Champions League... 
Luke Shaw's put himself in the in Mourinho's eyes now. He's put himself in the fans' eyes for sure. We should not be selling Luke Shaw in January. And some, some people thought we might do that. So I think he's crossed the first hurdle. I don't think he'll be sold in January. He definitely shouldn't be. His job now is to play every opportunity that Mourinho gives him. And he'll probably play against Bristol, to be fair. And by February, start forcing your way in. He might do it before then. Start forcing your way in as the first choice. Left back into next season where we need the progress. Because I think that the title has gone. Um, I do want to talk about a couple of other things as well. Uh, Eric Bay's injury, also in relation to um, what Mourinho and John Terry have had to say about Manchester United. But we do have a link in the video description, which is uh, very important to those people who like a little bit of a bet. It's through match bets. And uh, effectively how this works is if you do like a little bit of a bet yourself, uh, the way match bets works is if you sign up through the link in the video description, it is free to do it. And effectively, match bets, if I could go to the right area and show you, what it will do is, is every single day it will give you recommended offers where you basically what you do is you sign up with someone like Betfair, which is a um, which is a sort of um, it's not set bets. It's I forget what they call it. It's like a, an exchange, a betting exchange where everybody you can back a bet or lay a bet. And then you sign up these new offers and what you can do is because you get free bets through like William Hill or Coral or Sky Bet, um, basically you, you'll put a certain amount on through them and a certain amount on the exchange and it's guaranteed profit. It's not even betting really. Well, it is betting, but it's not gambling in the sense of um, putting a bet on Lukaku to score a hat trick. And they talk you all through it as well. So if you were to sign up this William Hill one here, they're basically saying it's £23 profit if you just go through the instructions or Coral £18 or Skybet £16 and effectively people are making up to £1,000 a month doing this but £500 should be achievable they say through people doing it in their spare time or a couple of hundred or stuff like that and if you look at the show, show the instructions on the William Hill thing it talks you through guide to match betting but estimated profit £23 um, and it will talk you through exactly what you need to do so you sign up you put your bet on, you do it on the exchange and it will show you how to get your £23. And effectively, it's a bit like I'm running a little business, I suppose, isn't it? Because you get different offers every every single day. So there's always lots of offers that you can do. And uh, it's guaranteed profit through that, like 23 quid, 24 quid, 35 quid through Ladbrokes. And that's how match betting works. So if you are somebody who likes to gamble, remember over 18, gamble responsibly. But this is through match bets and effectively it isn't really like you, you've got to you don't have to do any of the thinking yourself they'll talk you through it so it is obviously through the betting scenario but it's a system it's not like um a betting system like where it's like 10 to 1 or anything like that and there's an element of risk if you follow those instructions you will make 23 pounds profit you will make 16 pounds profit and if you do enough of these you can be making like i say up to 500 a thousand a couple of hundred pounds a month depending on how much time you want to spend on it so the link is in the video description for that get yourself signed up and they will walk you through it all link in the video description and all the instructions and everything are there so if you fancy making a little bit of extra money uh in the new year everyone fancies a bit of new money in the new year or just over for christmas get on the match bet thing um it's an interesting and successful system and a lot of people use it but back to manchester united and what the future holds, John Terry has said in his experience with Jose Mourinho. Uh, hello, I just want to interject here and say that Mark's an idiot. Uh, this is why he should never be doing pre-records because he always misses something. And two big things he's missed. One, he didn't do a score prediction for the West Brom game. Uh, score prediction is West Brom 1, Manchester United 2. Uh, Martial to score in the 83rd. No, I'm not going to give you that. But 2-1 to Manchester United is my score prediction. And most important of all that he will not mention in this whole video. I can see into the future he will not mention this. One, uh, Christmas party for the United stand is on Sunday night at 9 o'clock. And that's on the Mark Goldbridge channel. The link is in the video description to get yourself subscribed. There's no content on them yet. But do subscribe and get your notifications on for the Christmas party on, at 9 o'clock on that channel. And also... The reason Mark isn't live tonight is because he's out drinking at a Christmas party. Now, last week he did a video walking back from that Christmas party, but it got took down from the United Stand because it was a little bit unprofessional, because he was a little bit drunk. 
Um, he will be doing one tonight at about 11 o'clock, uh, between 11 and midnight, depending on how the night goes. There will be one. It won't be on this channel because it will be unprofessional. It will be on the Mark Goldberry's channel. So make sure you click the link in the video description, subscribe, get your notifications on, and that will be the first ever video on the new Mark Goldberry's channel. Thanks, everyone. Back to Mark. Don't you just love Christmas? Snowing outside at Old Trafford behind me as well. The tree is lit and so is the fire. So drop a like on the video actually because one thing I have forgot to say is drop a link, drop a like on the video for the Draughty Devil and his fantastic, fantastic graphics that you get on the United Stand. Really, really fantastic work from a genius, a Christmas genius, which reminds me as well. Also, uh, you've got your match bets thing, which you can do to earn yourself a little bit of extra money, but also... Remember, on Sunday night, it is the Christmas party, the United Stand Christmas party. Couple of hours from nine o'clock, we'll be having a little drink. Some of you be a lemonade, something a little bit stronger. And it's the annual Man uh, United Stand Christmas party. It will be on the Mark Goldbridge channel, which is a new channel. And the link in the video description is for that channel. So make sure you click it, subscribe and get ready for the Christmas party at nine o'clock on Sunday night and join us for that. But it will be exclusively on the Mark Goldbridge channel because... There'll probably be a bit of fun and festivity that probably doesn't fit on this channel. So there you go. The link to the video description for that. But back to the football, because that's what United stands all about. So John Terry has said, obviously, I've been managed by uh, Jose Mourinho for a long, long time. And looking at the Manchester United team the way it is at the moment and the players he's got uh, available to him, John Terry has said that Mourinho will be looking at that team and he'll want at least three or four more players coming in to build the team that Mourinho sort of wants to build. And that is progress. And... For anybody who heard me last night, I was on a I was on another another channel talking about the game. And I think that's the thing that look, I didn't like the result against Man City. Who did? I didn't like the game against Bournemouth, parking the bus effectively for the last 25 minutes. Bournemouth deserved a point. But these these results did happen with Sir Alex Ferguson. You have a bad result, and then the next game you just grind out three points because your head's on the floor and, 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 and your confidence is gone. So I accept that. It wasn't great football, but we need to start building that momentum back again after that hammer blow against Man City. But Mourinho out. Is Mourinho the man? It really is two irrelevant points at the moment because... Mourinho is the man. He's got the job and there is absolute factual defined progress under Mourinho. We've gone from sixth to second from last season at the end to where we are now. We've scored loads more goals. Only Man City have got a better goal difference than us. We have played fantastic football when Pogba's been fit and we are a bit of a one-man team. Mourinho wasn't totally backed in the summer. So we are exceeding expectation and Manchester City are doing something that is making idiots like Alan Shearer and the people on Match of the Day say that they're the best Premier League side ever. Oh my God, sit down, you are drunk. Get off the Christmas wine. They are the best team in the Premier League ever. This Man City team have won nothing. All they've won is top of the league in the middle of December and they've had a good run of wins. Um, they don't even come close to the Invincibles of Arsenal, let alone United's 99 or 08 team. It, they're having an absolute laugh. They are a very consistent winning side, Man City, and I don't think anybody's done that for a few years, but they don't compare to the great teams of the Premier League past. And... Manchester United, though, at the moment, are nowhere near Manchester City's quality. So there is definitely progress. We are the second best team in England and we are comfortably the second best team in England. Uh, we're three points ahead of Chelsea and many points ahead of Arsenal, Liverpool and Spurs. So there's definitely progress there. I think we are. Ex I think I think in some ways we're exceeding expectation because Spurs are a better team than us um, and they've been together longer. Um, but Mourinho's got as well clear of those progress in its very definition, means that progress is going to be two steps forward, one step back, two steps forward, half a step back, but you're always making progress. We're not progress dip, and then we go down. This is what happens at Liverpool. So progress is, by its very definition, it's up, but there will be slight little drops and up again, and that's what United are doing under Mourinho, and that's what we've been doing since he came to the club. Success is what... Sir Alex Ferguson did. It's what Guardiola's doing this season. Success is sustained positivity. It is sustained winning. And that is United aren't United are progress, but United aren't success yet. And we'll know when we get to success because we'll be top of the league, we'll be winning the Premier League, we'll be very competitive in the Champions League, and that's what Mourinho's getting us to. So for people to say Mourinho out or Mourinho's not the man, we're on a journey of progression. And when we get to the top of that top mountain and we hit success, 
that is when he succeeds. If on the journey to progress it suddenly goes wrong and we drop and we keep dropping, that's when you start saying Mourinho might not be the man or if you really want to be horrible, you start saying Mourinho out. But to say Mourinho out just because you don't like a couple of performances or a couple of results that in their minority you then bounce back and start winning again, this season we've been very consistent in a couple of things, winning games and scoring a lot of goals. Yes, that's defined by Paul Pogba and his absence really does cost us and we need to bring players in as I was speaking about last night. But let's not forget we are progressing. We are progressing. It might not be to the speed we want. It certainly won't be to the speed Mourinho wants. He won't like to see Pep Guardiola doing that. He hates Pep as much as we do. He won't like that. He will not like what happened last Sunday and that's why there was all that trouble in the tunnel. But we're definitely progressing and we're progressing to success and I, I firmly believe we are. Um, and I don't really, look, I totally accept that the football's not been great against Bournemouth and, and, the, and the tactics against Man City. But Mourinho knows he can't get away with that. He does you know, forget, I think Manchester United and their fans are most important to him over the press. But he will, re, he will know that if he plays like that against Man City or he plays like that against Bournemouth, he's getting a lot of stick and that's not good for him. So he doesn't want that. He wants us to play the way we do when we've got Pogba. But when we take Pogba out of the team... Who has he got? Who has he got to drive from the midfield and create things? It's slim pickings. We are a poor team without Pogba because we don't have enough players of that ilk behind him. Goretzka from Schalke. A lot of people mention him. I think he'd be very, very good. Ozil, um, obviously Griezmann. Um, we need we need more creators. We need more creators because if Pogba's suspended or injured, we're in a lot of trouble, aren't we? So, yeah, definitely, definitely do need to improve. But I do see improvement there. On Eric Bay's injury, um, there's talk that he could be out for the season. There's talk that he won't play till next year. You know what? When Eric Bay plays, he's our best centre-back. I think if Eric Bay was fit, he walked straight back into the team. However, however, what I would say is that look at what we did for most of November. Against Man City, that wasn't the defender's fault. It was Lukaku's fault. And they only scored two goals and they were assisted by Lukaku. I think Smalling, Rojo, Lindelof, Jones, when he's fit have been fantastic for us over the last five weeks. And Eric Bay is a loss, but he's not a loss to the magnitude of a, of a, of a Pogba or a Martial or a Matic or even a Lukaku um, and certainly a Rashford um, or a Valencia. Bay is one of our best players, but we are blessed at the moment with some very informed centre-backs, four of which. So we can get by without Bay. We, we went to Arsenal, we went to Watford, uh, we played Man City and they didn't score goals because our defenders weren't very good. Um, they've, they've been very, very reliable for us. So Bay being out is bad. It's disappointing. But it only disappoints me because he's a good player and I want him to be playing for United. We have actually got a lot of good centre-backs at the moment. So I'm not massively concerned about that. I'd be massively concerned if Martial or, or Pogba were out for the season or a few other players. But uh, So it's bad about it's bad about Bay, but it's not the end of the world. And I think we'll cope. We've got a lot of centre-backs um, and uh, they're doing well, not to mention people like Swan Sebi, who Mourinho says is, bet is getting better. But thanks everyone for watching. This is not a live show, as many people will realise, but hopefully you've liked it with the studio and uh, the preview. We've got stuff coming up for you tomorrow. Definitely live at 8 o'clock on Saturday night. Watch along on Sunday. Christmas party, 9 o'clock on Sunday night. It will be directly after Sunday Night Live, which will be on this channel at 8 o'clock. Then we'll go live at 9 o'clock on the Mark Goldbridge channel. Make sure you click the link in the video description and subscribe to the Mark Goldbridge channel in preparation for the Christmas party. I want you all there and getting involved. And also, don't forget the Matched Bets link in the video description. Um, remember, gamble responsibly. You've got to be over 18. But as I said, it's not really gambling in the traditional sense that you've got to put bets on and, or anything like that. This is a system where they will talk you through it and you will get guaranteed profit if you follow their instructions off every single offer they've got. There's numerous offers going up every day. And if you put the time in, and I mean, the time is signing up with different offers and obviously putting the bets on that they tell you to do, but it's a system, it will work because you put in a bet on and a free bet and there is guaranteed profit in whatever the result is. So there's no risk there. Um, and you can win, you, you can get guaranteed profit of 20 quid, 25 quid, 15 quid off every offer you do. And if you do enough of those a month, you can make 100 quid, 200 quid, 500 quid. Some people are making up to a grand a month through it. So the link in the video description, give it a go if you want a bit of extra money over Christmas or in the new year. Um, 
give it a go. Um, it's a decent system. Um, I haven't got the time to do it, otherwise I would. But um, anybody who has got a bit of time and they want to earn a bit of extra money, link in the video description. Thanks everyone for watching. That's for Match Bet. Uh, link in the video description. Um, remember the Christmas party. Sign up to, uh, not sign up, subscribe to the United Standard. And uh, back tomorrow. Fantastic studio. Um, and also, I forgot to say, Mark Goldbridge channel. Do subscribe because there's a chance tonight that I'll probably do a video on there off my phone. So uh, link, the, I, forgot, I should have bled, I tell you what, I really should have promoted that because I probably will do a video tonight off my Mark Goldbridge channel. And that is the link in the video description for the Mark Goldbridge channel. Thanks for watching. Speak to you all soon.